All right, today I got a little bit of a, something different here. Today I'm going to be reviewing this photo booth. It's the Impact PLB 400. My wife saw this and she said, uh, this is no longer yours. After you do this review, it's mine. And uh, she sells a lot of stuff on eBay and so do I. And this is what I see the uh, primary use for this, especially for people that don't have any studio or any lighting starting from scratch. This booth here is gonna provide everything that you need from lighting to the, uh, the framing, everything. All you need is a product. You can hang stuff in there. You can even do headshots. So when they sent me this here, I agreed to review it. Sure, I'll do it. And then when I received the uh, item by the uh, very beefy weight of the box and everything and the height of the product, uh, I was a little bit intimidating setting up. I already did it. I'm just redoing it again for the uh, review of this product on video. And I'm gonna be setting this up alone on purpose to show you guys that this is easy to set up by yourself. Of course, if you have help, it's always better than one person. And the feature that I like the most is that this thing, even though it's over six feet high, the way the design is when you dress it up on the frames, right, that, that black cloth that comes with, you simply tilt it down, you put the whole thing on top, and then there's four zippers there, close it down, tilt it back up, put the lighting, and you're ready to shoot. It's that simple. So you don't need any ladder to be climbing there. Hey, hold this piece over there, nothing. You just tilt the whole thing down, dress it up, put it back up. So usually people that have been watching my channel, they already know that I'm very neat and uh, with my stuff to keep everything nice and tidy and to ensure maximum longevity of the product here. So as you can see, I uh, already installed a little Velcro here. So when you remove this, everything is nice and tidy. So this comes with a eight. LED power supplies, and they are fully dimmable. It comes with a diffuser. This is for the framing, which I put on a little uh, bubble wrap. These are the hangers for the background. More diffusers. The LED lights, they come individually packed with this bubble wrap. And they also have a magnetic feature on the back here that you can actually attach to the framing. These are the rods here. So the rest of the rods to save space, they put it inside this uh, backdrops here. There's like four of them here more. There you go. So on the website in the picture, I couldn't tell what kind of backdrop this is until I actually received and looked at it uh, close, right? This is not paper. This is a very thick uh, vinyl kind of material and it has a matte finish, it's semi-reflective, but this is a lot better than a standard paper background. So I can also use this just by uh, setting up a background stand in case I don't have the time or space for the booth in some occasions. And uh, so the materials that they supply over here with this whole thing is useful for so many things even beyond just, uh, you don't depend on the photo booth, the whole thing itself to start taking some awesome uh, pictures. You can use the LED for something else. You can also use this background for something else. So I really like the material and it comes in white. It comes in black, and they also put more rods here to save space. So beautiful black, the same exact material. It reflects a little bit of light, but it's better than paper, in my opinion. And we also have blue, and more rods in the middle. And these are the spares, in case you lose the magnet, or you lose one of the pieces here. And again, here's the breakdown of all the pieces that came out of that box, which I can't believe all this stuff came out of that skinny little bag. Everything is labeled. Uh, the uh, W stands for the width, and the uh, D stands for the depth. H1 stands for the height one, and H2 stands for the height two. And it gets easier than that. Even though they label the, the, uh, the W, the, the D, the H this and H that, all these rods here, they are the same exact size, which means if you put an H2 in place of a D, it's not gonna matter. The only tubes here that are larger, longer, are the, the, uh, the W ones. So, and even this one here that's supposed to be hung on the uh, ceiling of the thing, it's also the same size of any of those tubes here. All right, let's start with the Ws. So you simply connect this in here, like this. Lay it right here, this way. And I need one D, or you can even get an H2, it doesn't matter because they are the same size, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be uh, obeying what they are saying here. This is the depth. 
and we need another D. And another W. And you already have your frame down here. And then your H1s. Put this here. This is ridiculously easy to set up. It's actually fun. Then you have your H2s. Which they go right here. Make sure you fully insert this here. Then you need another D here. Another one here. And the other two W's go here. There you go. Make sure everything is tight on all corners. So there you go, here's your frame right here. And this rod here goes later, or you can put it right here, right now. Might as well, I think. Now when you put the LEDs here, these are all dimmable, which means you can have a stronger key light and not so much on the background. Or if you have a person here, you can actually have this light as the key or this one here so you can dim the other ones. So before I finish putting the whole thing up here, I'm going to show you how you install these LEDs here. This will uh, install anywhere you want. You can install them over here. You determine the height that you want. You can even adjust a little bit here or a little bit there. It will stay. You can also install it this way or this way. They can go here. They can go there, anywhere you want. Now, one comment that I want to make here, when you install the background, it literally takes the whole area here. So when you unroll this, as you can see, it can get in the way of the LED a little bit. Uh, it fits if you want the lights on the back here. Now, this background here can extend all the way from the very top to create a little cyclorama here, and it reaches all the way here. If you want anybody stepping on it, or if you don't need that much uh, background here, you can easily unroll this and it stops right there. No problem. So here's the part that I give whoever designed this a big thumbs up because you don't need any ladder to be uh, handling the, the canvas or whatever you want to call this because this is rather heavy. So this is how you install this. All you got to do is tilt this. And as you can see, the frame doesn't go anywhere. Beautiful. All right, so let's dress this up here. It's just me, no help needed. You can use your belly to stop the frame here. You can use your foot to stop the thing from moving. There you go. Then you see the thing slowly come into shape, right here. There you go. So that's pretty much it. And then there's a zipper here, another zipper here, and two more in the back. So all you gotta do is start zipping it up. Now the last one, you need to tuck in a little bit. There you go. All right. Now you wanna tilt this up. Now, this is very important that the logo should be facing up like this. Let me finish doing this here. 
So that's the top of the booth. And this overlaps this way. Then I put this Velcro together. This is my second time I ever set this up. There you go. So the next one, I'm be installing the LEDs, and as you can see, this uh, booth has holes waiting for this to be put outside. You have a hole here, another one here, another one there, another one here. Here is all over the place from top to bottom. So here are the three clips provided. One goes in the middle. There you go. Another one goes in here, and the third one goes in there. Then, again, without any help, nobody to hold anything, you just uh, clip the first one here, like so. Keep holding it, and finally the other one. And there you go. Unroll it. So this can actually extend all the way, all the way here, but I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna leave it like this. And then you can adjust it. This will move freely, left and right. Okay. And you can also find, adjust everything to make sure everything is on the same height. There you go. And that should, that should look good. I find this to be the uh, most, uh, the easiest way because you can just put them like this and the background is not in the way. Then tuck the background in the back and this can be moved up and down. So here's the setup number one, as you can see, put the background here first and then install the, the LEDs in the rear. It's the easiest way that I found. So here's the lighting, the same exact way that appears at the b &H website with this product. You have four in the front and four in the back. And again, these are fully dimmable. You can decide the intensity of the two in the front or this one is stronger than this one here. Completely kill this light or have this uh, uh, light as a, some sort of a rim light. So the next step here, if you want to, is to add some extra diffusion on the light. The way uh, the lights are right now, the light that comes out of these lights, when you're shooting wardrobes here, it can be a dress, can be a suit. Uh, this is a studio here, so I have like a lot of ballet outfits here, so I have a lot of interesting things to shoot here. But I found the, uh, the lights that already come out of these LEDs here, the quality of the light. Uh, there's no shadows in this booth here. And then when I put a dress up here, I don't need any diffusion. I found that a little bit of a hard light can provide more details. And there's hardly any shadows, if not none. So if you're shooting a person here for some reason, and you can apply these diffusers here. So here's how you install the diffuser. It has these little hooks here, which is very easy. You kind of start on an angle this way, horizontal, and then you turn that way. And another one here, same exact way. And then, like I was saying, uh, the background does get in the way. So this hook easily goes right here. And this is the problem that I see here. When you want to put this hook here, it kind of gets in the way. Well, it can be done, but this is not going to be perfectly uh, done here but it still diffuses the light, as you can see. So to me, at least, I'll leave this as a last step, which is the actual lighting. And on a picture on a b &H website, of course, you're gonna be seeing these things like dangling around or on the floor. That's for the uh, purpose of the uh, picture, so you can see how this stuff is connected, right? But there are several ways to mount this off the floor because you don't want anybody to step on this, especially if you take this to a uh, venue or a customer's house. So I usually mount everything on the ceiling, on the roof, because I wish uh, they made a uh, 
like about an inch or two uh, thick Velcro all over the booth here. So you can actually choose to put a Velcro here and mount this over here, over there, that would be great. I mean, I can't really do anything about it because this has to be done in the factory. I can't really put a, a, a adhesive here because it's gonna come right off. But it would be cool if they had a Velcro here. So since there is no Velcro, I mount everything on the uh, roof here. And as neatly as possible, especially that I don't want anybody to step on this here. And if you have to dim the lights, occasionally you have to grab a stool and uh, climb up in there. But um, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna start with this here. Uh, just another suggestion, uh, no big deal, because this still holds pretty nice, but I wish this was a, a twist and lock thing, that would be cool if it gets uh, accidentally unplugged, but there you go, okay, go here, then put this somewhere in here for now. Let's go back here. And finally, the last one. So another thing that you need, I strongly recommend that you buy an eight outlet thing here, plus an extension cord, so you can do everything on the roof over there. So I try to make the setup as clean as possible. As you can see, I didn't even have to undo this here. So I have the first dimmer right here, the second one right here. So let's power this up and check that out. Everything is at full brightness. Just put the little uh, iPhone app here real quick at uh, ISO 800 at 1 60th of a second, I'm getting F28 here to almost 32. And if I point directly at the LED lights, it's over F45, F51, which is crazy. So with that said, so even though this is not entirely accurate, but you can see how bright this thing is inside. And each one of these LEDs, they are fully dimmable. You can actually completely kill the background light or the key light for uh, some kind of a, a rim light going on. You can make this one a full blast. This one is slightly lower, so you can adjust the dimmer. But my setup here, you have to grab a little stool and adjust the thing accordingly. But just to give you an idea how powerful these lights are and the quality of the light, of course, I have to adjust my camera's exposure to inside this booth here. But as a lot of light here in the shadow is like almost non-existent. So right now I have reduced the intensity of these lights, all of them to 50%. So I can actually have a little bit of exposure or what's left of my lighting on the background over there competing with these lights over here. I am at ISO 800, 1 60th of a second, 30 frames per second. I even have to either reduce my ISO or even do a neutral density filter here. And I still got to lower the ISO to uh, 400 or so and the slides are very powerful. And this fabric here is very heavy duty, the zippers are nice. The reason why they have these uh, zippers here is because if you want to install a front diffuser here and shoot from this side, you can. So this opens this way, and the same thing with the other side over here. So um, what you have to do, even if you take this outside, the sunlight or whatever, you know, you can actually diffuse the light, whatever light that is. If it is natural light or your own studio lighting, you can actually have the diffuser here. So instead of shooting this way now, you're going to be shooting this way here. So you're going to put your camera this way and let whatever light, either sunlight or your, your studio light coming from this way, and then you're gonna be shooting from that way. And as you can see over here, there's Velcro here, so you're supposed to um, fold this here, and then the Velcro should Velcro itself, like that, and then this stays out of the way. Another way to do this, you can easily fold it this way here, and the other one to uh, meet halfway here. Then you just uh, put a clamp here, and there you go as well.
So this is the inside of the booth after you apply the diffusion filter over there. So imagine this, if you have uh, kids, they're gonna go absolutely insane uh, sleeping over here. So um, they're gonna probably own your booth for at least a month straight. Because this is so cozy, cool, so cool, besides the uh, photography itself. But here's how it looks like inside. So this helps to diffuse either natural light, whatever light source you have bouncing this way here, or even your studio lighting. If you even need, need a second layer of diffuser, all you gotta do is apply one more of these things here. And this other zipper opens just like this. And then the same thing, you can actually fold it or clamp the both things on the back there. So that's out of the way. So right now I have the black background installed and I'm only using the real light. I'm actually outside the booth because there's a lot of silver material still reflecting light in my face, bouncing lights all over the place. But you still can have uh, some kind of a rim light if, you, if that's what you're looking for. And for still photography, you can actually shoot it vertical. Right now I'm shooting video, so there's a limitation of how much of my body you can see. But here it is, it can be achieved. So when I step into the booth, you can start to see the uh, lights bouncing on my face. So in this case, all you have to do is go to a fabric store and buy just a few yards of a black cloth, uh, preferably velour or whatever they call it, so it, does, it absorbs light. And I already have the uh, side windows open, so there's less silver bouncing in my face. So when you step it outside here, that's pretty much uh, the look that you want. But once you come in here, you have to uh, cover this with black cloth. You know, but this is uh, one of the many things you can do with this booth besides the other regular stuff. So next I'm going to be showing you how the uh, products being shot here will look like. So I have a dress here right now. If this is too high, you can simply uh, get a belt or some sort of thing and then bring the dress down. So there's many ways to do this here. So right now I'm just hanging this here. And I usually would avoid uh, hangers like this because they don't turn, but there's hangers they can actually turn so you can actually have the dress always facing the front or the back, any way you, you like it. Now, one cool thing about this rod is because you can actually move it without removing it out of the rod. So you're back and forth all the way to the background here, or leave it in the center, or bring it all the way back to the front. I'm gonna leave it in the center for now. Now again, because you have a very highly reflected silver material all over this booth, you're talking about the floor, the ceiling, and the side walls, unless you taper this thing with uh, some kind of a black cloth. And then you should be able to uh, have your black background and maybe, uh, I don't know, moving the lights this way a little bit. Now the way it is, you can only shoot with a slight dark gray background, even if you kill the lights on the back. Now the easiest way to remove this, you uh, unclamp it like this, make a turn, this comes out, same thing with this, you just turn it a little bit, there you go. And then this is when you need uh, help with somebody, so you grab the uh, this last flap over here, so you hold it with both hands, be careful not to cut your fingers uh, with these uh, edges here, and then have somebody pull this paper until it's small, until the core is small enough, so you can actually fit those little things over here again, which are these, because you definitely need this on here. So it's very easy when you have another helper. So if you're shooting a bunch of these products here, the same uh, color, the same lightness, like, you know, light green or light pink or whatever, you can just adjust your lighting to until it looks right and then keep bringing things that look like this as far as the, uh, how light the colors are. When you start to shoot uh, things that are darker and everything, again, you just adjust the lighting to whatever looks right and then you keep shooting a bunch. And the same thing with people, people with like darker skin, you, uh, you know, change your lighting, lighter skin, it's just like any other studio application. So especially if you're shooting uh, like, you know, 400 of those things, you can shoot everything that looks kind of the same, the same type of colors or how light or how dark that is. And you can shoot a bunch of these dresses without changing anything. So here's the actual product over there. Everything looks good, nice and white background. I know I could have used a white hanger, but you get the picture. So you can pretty much shoot anything you want in here. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways to shoot products in here. It depends on your creativity. Even larger items like this, not a problem. 
I mean, you can even bring this, I mean, not for a wedding, of course, but, you know, show a little party. Kids can have this as a photo booth with the uh, different types of background uh, backdrops there. So they can actually take a little selfie and stuff like that. So video, let me see how this look on video on the iPhone. I usually do my exposure lock here and then there you go. That should look okay. There you go. That's my selfie video here. And now I'm going to be installing the uh, front diffuser which means you can have sunlight coming through and this is going to get diffused. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using the Generate Powerhouse, which is pretty much the sun. <laughs> and it's up to you to either cancel out the lights here. You can use these lights in conjunction with this light or whatever it is that you're shooting here. So you can pretty much either use this light or just the other one. So I have the uh, diffusion panel that comes with this booth installed here and I also have the Generate Powerhouse as the main source of light over here and as you can see this is a double diffuse light. I'm going to remove this later but I'm, I'm showing you in case depending what you're shooting inside, let's say that you're shooting a bottle of whiskey for example, you will find that uh, if you didn't try that before, if you have, even if you have a soft box, uh, uh, not regarding the booth, any uh, studio, if you have a bottle of whiskey or wine or whatever, you will find that the edges of the bottle, even if you use a, a, a soft box, octagon, whatever you have it, the diffusion is not good enough. To have that beautiful diffusion on the bottle, I recommend that you double diffuse the light, for example, a soft box, and then another diffusion panel in front of the soft box. So if this is the case that you decide to do this in here in this booth, you can because you have a double diffusion panel. And all the LED lights are off inside, so the light that you see here is just the light itself. So I'm going to use the uh, worst camera there is in the world, which is the front camera from a cell phone. And I'm going to show you how good this light already looks like. So this is inside the booth. Let me lock my exposure here. Okay, that, sh that looks okay. So if you're shooting like this, flat, there you go. Or if you want a side lighting, then you have to come up with some other type of uh, background kind of thing here. But just show this big light, diffuse soft light coming through here. And this is with the uh, diffusion. Now I'm going to re be removing the uh, diffusion and let's try that again. Now here's the powerhouse without any diffusion whatsoever. Go inside the booth here. And they have this whole panel here with the soft diffuse light. So this is the uh, flat look. Let me bump up my exposure a little bit more. There you go. And this is 45 degrees. And then you just adjust your exposure to whatever looks right. I can't really tell by the phone, but you, you get the picture. So this, is a, this becomes a big panel of soft light coming through here. So don't forget that the only light right now in this booth is coming from the powerhouse with this diffusion material here, which you can actually add several layers of diffusion. They are providing one. You can buy two, three or four, a shower curtain, whatever you want to do. So you can increase the diffusion at a very inexpensive cost. How much does the shower curtain cost? Like five, ten dollars. And you can also use this LEDs here in conjunction with the uh, front light this way and then the possibilities are endless so if you just want one light source right so here will be a flat look but if you're looking to shoot this way here 45 degrees that way or whatever and then you can use this light alone or again in conjunction with the uh, leds over here even without setting up the booth i can just borrow this background which is a very nice white vinyl material uh, semi-matte finish i can just put on a regular background stand and just uh, have my photography done that way too. So when I want to use the booth, I have this whole thing here or I can steal parts of it to uh, like these LEDs that I can take on the road. And there you go. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And thank you very much for watching. Have a good day or a good night.